Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was the publications Crime in India, Accidental Deaths and Suicides in India, Present Statistics India and Fingerprint in India are published by which organization? And the answer is National Crimes Record Bureau, NCRB. So now let's start today's session. First question for the day with reference to National Clean Air Program NCAP consider the following statement. Statement 1. It will be executed by the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB. And Statement 2. Under the program, Center also plans to scale up the air quality monitoring network across India. And Statement 3. The plan includes cities from all the states of India. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A. 1 and 2 only. Option B 2 and 3 only, Option C 1 and 3 only and Option D 1, 2 and 3. So guys the correct answer here is Option A 1 and 2 only. Guys as we all know India is committed to a clean environment and pollution free air and water. In fact it is mandated in our constitution. And guys our today's quiz question is which article of Indian constitution mandates for a pollution free environment. Please post your answers in the comment section. Coming back to discussion, the National Clean Air Program is a pollution control initiative that was launched by Ministry of Environment in 2019 and with the intention to cut concentration of coarse particulate matter PM10 and fine particles particulate matter PM2.5 by at least 20% in the next 5 years with 2017 as the base year for the comparison. And the overall objective of the program includes comprehensive mitigation actions for prevention, control and abatement of air pollution. It also aims to augment the air quality monitoring network across the country and strengthen the awareness and capacity building activities. Also city specific action plans are being formulated for 102 non attainment cities that are considered to have air quality worse than national ambient air quality standards. Um, these 102 cities are from 23 states and UTs, not from all states. And remember, it is not a legally binding document and Central Pollution Control Board will be executing this program. And the key point here is it is a city specific initiative. It notes that internationally actions have been city specific rather than country oriented and cities such as Beijing and Seoul that saw 35% to 40% reduction in PM 2.5 in last 5 years. However effective this might have been in abroad, the reduction by similar levels might leave Indian cities still heavily polluted. You know the case of Delhi. Delhi's very severe pollution levels are 4 times of the permissible limits now and a 30% reduction by 2024 would still leave Delhi very dangerous for health. So it is a very challenging initiative with regard to our country and it is a very important topic also related with prelims as well as mains. Now we will move to second question. Second question is blue chip stocks often seen in the news is related to option A share of IT companies, option B share of startups, option C shares of very large and well recognized companies and option D maritime security. So the correct answer here is option C shares of very large and well recognized companies. Blue chip stocks are shares of very large and well recognized companies with a long history of sound financial performance. And these stocks are known to have capabilities to endure tough market conditions and it give high returns in good market conditions. And blue chip stocks generally cost high as they have good reputation and are often market leaders in their respective industries. And these are the blue chip companies of India and that are SBI, Faraday Airtel, TCS, Call India, Reliance Industries, HDFC Bank, ONGC etc. So now move to last question for the day. With reference to sepsis, consider the following statements. First statement, it is a life threatening organ dysfunction caused by body's immune system overreacting in response to an infection. And statement two, it is triggered by virus infection only. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, both one and two and option D neither one nor two. So the correct answer here is it is option A one only. 
It is a life threatening organ dysfunction. It is caused by body's immune system over reacting in response to an infection. This lead to multiple organ failure and death. It can be triggered by viruses, bacteria, fungi or parasites, not by virus alone. And the causes of sepsis are usually pneumonia, wound infections, urinary tract infections or infections in the abdominal cavity. And in addition to the non-seasonal influenza viruses, other viruses that are highly infectious such as coronaviruses, Ebola and yellow fever viruses, dengue, swine flu or bird flu viruses can also cause sepsis. In addition to typical signs of infection, there are several standout symptoms that indicates sepsis. For example, a drop in blood pressure with a simultaneous rise in heart rate, fever, rapid heavy breathing etc. So that are the other symptoms of sepsis. So that's it. That's all for today guys. We will meet tomorrow with another set of questions. Please post your answer to the quiz question in the comment section and your scores also. Thank you for watching.